Hi guys, in this video I'll be showing you guys how to use the features on Clave. Clave is a non-custodial smart wallet that enables users to connect and explore the world of DeFi and blockchain technology as a whole. Clave leverages on account abstraction, not only enhancing security and flexibility of your wallet, but also opening up a wide range of possibilities for managing your digital assets and transactions. With Clave, users can experience advanced features like passwordless authentication, swift transactions on the ZKSync network, and the ability to interact with decentralized applications effortlessly, all within a user-friendly interface made for both beginners and experienced users. So without wasting much time, let's dive right in. Now, the first step is to download the Clave app, of course, okay? So after download the app from the Apple Store or from the Google Play Store, okay? So now when the app is downloaded and installed on your phone or your, your device, you open up the app. Okay, now I want to try to set up our wallet on the Clave app. Okay, so you tap on create new account. They are going to they are going to tell you to create a passkey. Okay, so you you select the Google account you want to use. Then you're going to tap on continue. So now you're going to approve it using your biometrics on your device. Okay. And that's it. Okay, as you can see, the wallet creation was so seamless. Okay, you didn't need to start um, saving your phrases or other complications. Okay, it was so seamless. You just create a passkey, and that's it. So the next step is to create your username. Okay, so I'm going to just use I George the Great here. Okay, so I think it should be available, and then I'm going to save. So as you can see, we are done. The wallet creation process was that seamless and that easy. Okay, so that's it for the wallet creation process. Wallet is set up. Let's go into the video fully to know how to use the features on Clave. Okay, so the first feature we're going to be learning how to use is the request feature. The request feature is the feature that enables users to request payments of their chosen amount from another Clave user. Okay, so as a user, you can request payments or funds from another Clave user. Okay, so how is this done? On this home page, you tap on the request option there. They're going to put in the type of cryptocurrency and also the amount that you want to request. So let me request USDT. Okay, so let me request just for the purpose of this tutorial, I'll put in one USDT. Okay, then I'll tap on continue. Then I'll tap on share link. Okay, understand. And then I can now share to my Telegram. Okay, and this is just basically sending to another clay user. Okay, so now that I've, that I've shared the link, I want to also show you guys how the, it works. Okay, so and it's, it's meant to be paid from another user. So because of this tutorial, I'm going to be using two devices. Okay, to show you guys how it works. So now on my second device, you can see my account balance here. Okay, so I'll just go to Telegram where I can see the link. I can see the link here so i'm just going to tap on the link because now I'm, I, I want to send it so as you can see everything has been automated already okay as you can see this is the one usdt okay everything has been pre-programmed from that link that i've requested okay so i'll tap on continue to send and then i will make the payment so you can see the network free the network fee is free and it is paid by clave okay powered by zk sync so i'll just swipe to confirm So I'll approve. And as you can see, the phones have successfully been sent. Okay. So if I go back now to my other device where I made the request from, I'll see now that I should receive the phones in no time. As you can see, now I've received the phones. Right. Okay. So that is basically how the request feature works. going to be talking about now is the send feature okay so this send feature enables users to transfer or send their crypto assets to another user or to another wallet okay so in this tutorial we're going to be sending some funds to an external wallet okay before i also show you guys how to send it to another clay user 
So let's try to send some fonts to another wallet like MetaMask. Okay. So we'll tap on this send, this send um, option there. So now you can put either the click username or ENS or address. Okay. So I want to put in the address. So either we manually put in the address or we can scan the QR code. Okay. So by this top right corner, I'll tap on this scanning QR code option there. Okay. To scan the QR code. So I'll just scan this QR code on my PC. Okay. I've scanned the QR code. I've gotten the wallet address. Then I'll choose the token I want to send. So USDT. I put in the amount. Let me say one dollar. Okay. Then I'll tap on continue. And then I'll agree that it's on ZK Sync. Because MetaMask supports ZK Sync, of course. Then I'll tap on continue to send. Then I'm going to swipe to confirm. As you can see, the network fee is free. Everything is sponsored by Cleave. Okay. As you can see, it's been sent. Okay. It's very seamless and very fast. So that's how you can send funds. From your clay wallet to an external wallet okay so another way to send phones nice to send to another clay user okay so you sit up on that send feature then you are going to put in the username so the username i want to put in now is i george okay so i tap on continue which um i put in the amount then say one dollar two just for this tutorial I'll tap on continue and then i'm going to swipe to confirm As, as you can see it has been sent so now on my wallet you can now see that it has been received you can check the transaction history you can see that it has entered okay so that's how to send phones from your clay wallet to an external wallet and also from one clay user to another okay so let's go into the next feature so the next feature we're going to be talking about now is the swap feature this feature enables users to trade their cryptocurrencies for another this reduces the stress and inconvenience of visiting third-party dApps to trade your assets, okay? You can do all that in one click within the Clave app. Okay, so let me show you guys now how to use the swap feature. So on this home page here, you just tap on swap. And then basically, you just choose the token you want to swap from. Then select the token you want to swap to. Put in the trade amount that you want to trade, okay? And then you can now swap easily. So now I want to swap from USDT to usdc.e there are also other cryptocurrencies that i can trade get against okay the many cryptocurrencies listed here on the clip app so let me just use usdt to usdc okay so let me trade with let me see okay let me see two dollars okay so there you see how the equivalent amount that i'll receive for that trade I'll tap on review swap and then i'll tap on continue so as usual the network fee is free it is paid by Clave. So tap swap, swipe to confirm, and then we'll approve the transaction. So as you can see, we've successfully swapped, as you can see in transaction history, we've successfully swapped 2 USDT to 2.03 USDC, okay? So that's basically how to use the swap feature. You can trade USDT or any cryptocurrency against any cryptocurrency you want to use directly on the Cliff app, okay? So that's how to use this feature talking about now is the portfolio feature okay this feature lets users to view the assets they own in their wallet okay so on this one page here you can see this portfolio we tap on it you're able to see the various cryptocurrency assets that you own in your wallet okay so you can see theta have like three theta i have two usdc if you tap on it you can see other metrics about it you can see about it i can see the market cap total volume just in case you want to do some analysis or something okay and then these are the various assets I own in this particular wallet. They can tap on add custom token. So if, for example, on this portfolio page, now you're not seeing the token that you're looking for, you can tap on this add custom token to manually add the token that you want to view here. Okay, that's basically how to use this particular feature. So the next feature we're going to be talking about now is the earn feature. Okay, this feature enables users to earn interest for depositing or staking their assets according to the available APR. Okay, so on this home page now you can tap on this end here so either we access it through that place or we can tap on this hub then we can tap on n okay so any of them so now these are all the tokens available that we can stake and earn rewards for okay so you can only stake of course you can only stake 
the token that you own okay so if, for example i don't own i don't own zk so i cannot stake this one so if i tap on it they won't let me because i don't have it okay so yes yeah, so i have usdt so i can tap on it so i'm with usdt now so i'll be able to stake if i want to so now the the apr now is 5.45 so this anna percentage return so it means that at the end of the year i'll be able to get 5.45 percent of my staked amount okay so that's basically how it works so directly from this clip app now we can basically stake our tokens and earn rewards according to the apr being shown here okay so that's basically how this particular feature works so to use it now we can just basically put in the amount i want to stake this gauge is to and as you can see the amount of years it is fluctuating okay so i can manually also put in the amount i want to stake so let me say for example one year it is that upon proceed if i tap on proceed then i'll be able to stake it and start any rewards okay that's basically how this feature works so the next feature we're going to talking about now is the payment links feature okay this feature lets users to create a payment link so what this means is that you can make payment to a recipient using a link through which this recipient can claim the funds into their clave account by just clicking the link okay so it works similar to like redeeming a voucher it gets so very easy to use and it's made possible by clave so to access this feature now tap on this payment links here okay so either we access it through that part or tap on hub they will tap on payment link so now tap on create new link so now how much do you want to pay the user so i can put in two dollar okay so this is because it's usdt i can also choose any cryptocurrency i want to make payments with so tap on two tap on continue and then with this payment link, I don't need to start putting the wallet address or anything. I'm just creating a payment link. So I'll just basically share this link to the person that I want to make payment to. And then the person will be able to claim the payment. Okay. So now I'm going to swipe to confirm. I'm going to approve. So now automatically the payment link is now ready. Okay. So I'll just share the link. I'll share it on Telegram. Okay, I'm just basically sharing the link to anyone. Okay, to the person I want to pay to. So now, so now I've successfully shared the link. Okay, so now on my other device, I'm going to show you guys now how to claim the funds using the payment link. So my second device, as you can see, this is the payment link, right? So I'm going to tap on it and it will redirect me to my clip app. Okay, so I can see claim payment from this user. This is the amount so yes it's okay so i'm going to tap on claim click to claim so it's processing and then boom it's been received okay or redeemed so my balance should reflect as you can see it has increased okay so that is basically how to create a payment link and also how to redeem payment from a payment link on cleave okay so now let's go into the next feature so the next feature we're going to be talking about now is the browser feature. Okay, this feature enables users to be able to interact with tabs, which is decentralized applications, and seamlessly explore Web3. Okay, directly from the clip app. So we're going to tap on this browser here, and then we're going to manually impute the the link to the tab I want to interact with. So let me put zify. Zify.org is a popular tab on zk sync. Okay, where users can carry out many decentralized financial transactions okay so tap on app the reason why we're using this now is to be able to show you how we can use the browser feature on cleave to interact with dApps okay so tap on connect wallet and then i'm going to select cleave so in case you don't just see cleave pop out here you can just tap on all wallets okay and then you can manually search for cleave okay so that is how it works so we tap on cleave and then we will connect our wallet so swipe to connect as you can see it has been connected successfully okay so now to swap we'll select the token we want to swap from so let me select ethereum I have some ethereum in my wallet already then i will tap on usdt so i want to swap from ethereum to usdt okay so i'll put in the amount i want to swap or let me just say i want to swap 50 percent of the ethereum that i own okay in this particular wallet just for tutorial purposes so i'm swapping some amount of ethereum to this amount of usdc usdt okay I'll tap on swap as you can see now cleave is interacting with the tab okay so 
it's can select all fee as usual it's free and it's paid by clave so we'll swipe to confirm so I'll approve the transaction so as you can see it has been executed so i successfully swap this amount of ethereum to usdt okay so as you can see now my balance will change so that is basically how to swap or that's basically how to use a dap okay i interact with that dap using clave using the browser feature okay so let's go into the next feature so the next feature we're going to be talking about now is the split feature on clave okay so this feature lets you to create a group with your friends okay or family to split bills and payments okay so now this hub you know this is the home part of the app this hub will tap on split and then we're able to create a group to be able to split bills and payments okay tap on create new group I can name it with name say winners okay tap on create and then i'll be able to invite my friends to join this particular group okay so when you join this particular group and they added to this particular group then that's how we'll be able to split the bills okay directly from the clave app that's basically how this feature works another feature we're going to be talking about now is the scan feature this feature lets you to scan wallet addresses or payment QR codes and also connect to dApps and then proceed to the next action. Okay. So on this on the this home page now at the top right, you can see this QR code symbol here. Okay. So we'll tap on it and then we have to scan any QR code. So now I'll be scanning this wallet address from my MetaMask okay and as you can see now the app has automatically detected it and it already knows the wallet address that phones could be, should be sent to okay so now we can select the type of token i want to send and then we can input the amount okay and then just automatically if we proceed to the next actions we're able to send phones to that particular wallet address okay and then also if, for example, you want to connect to a DAP because the, the QR code scanner, which is the scan feature, is not just for scanning wallet addresses. So if you want to connect to a DAP, a DAP that gives you a QR code to scan to connect, okay? If you scan that particular QR code, you'll be able to connect to the DAP, okay? And interact with that particular DAP using the clip app, okay? So that's basically how this feature works. So the final feature we're going to be discussing now is the social recovery feature, okay? This lets users to be able to recover their accounts when they've lost the ability to log in. Okay, and you can do this by setting up guardians, okay, that will help you recover your accounts if needed. Okay, so how to do this now is you tap on profile, then you tap on social backup. Okay, so now I tap on add new guardians. These new guardians now are going to be they are going to be users of Clave already. Okay, so I'm just going to put the username here, which is my other account okay so tap on proceed so we're tapping on proceed so i'm going to now put in my email this email now is just to confirm and proceed with the prompts okay so i'm going to put in my email then i'm going to continue so now i'm going to put in the the otp that has been sent So now I'm going to approve the transaction. Okay. Going to approve. And that's it. I've successfully added a guardian. Okay. So now I've added this guardian. When else I want to log in, for example, I don't have access to my login details. I can simply use the help of a guardian to be able to log in my account. Okay. So that's basically how to use this feature. And that's it guys for this video i've been able to show you guys how to use the features on clave and how awesome advanced and seamless they are with clave users can seamlessly transact using their crypto assets with zero fees and fast transaction execution let's adopt blockchain technology let's access the future of finance with clave thank you